Welcome to the Universal Marketer's Guide, New View Instruction, Part 1. Folks, if you haven't already done so, please go ahead and open up your New View program that you downloaded. And once you have your program open, you should see a screen similar to the shot that you see in this video. Now I know when you first look at this, it can be a little bit intimidating and overwhelming. I'm going to show you some shortcuts to where you don't really have to get heavy into this program and still be able to produce very clean, very professional looking pages like what I've done with UMG Info. So I suppose the first thing we need to do is to put some text on this page. Note number one, anytime you're creating a page, you need to work on the content of that page with your text. I'm going to show you how to change the color of your text. Highlight. Up here underneath the publish key is a little black box. That little black box is your color for your text. Click that box and it brings you up a color palette. You can select whatever color you wish and then hit OK. If we wanted to change another color of the text without changing all of it, just highlight what we want. Click the color text bar and we can change it like so. Let's make this bigger. If we go ahead and highlight right next to these color palettes I was just showing you, you've got a little A with an arrow going down and a big A with an arrow going up. Well, if you press that big A, your text will increase in its size. And the same way if you press the little a, your text will decrease in its size. What if you wanted to bold something into this, or italics, or underline? All you simply have to do is highlight whatever you want to bold, italics, or highline. Right next to the big A with the arrow going up, you'll see a B. That stands for bold. And as you can see, we've now bold this text. Italicize highlight and click the I. See how it's kinda adding a little bit of depth to it now? Let's say you wanted to underline. Click the U with the underline underneath it and now we've underlined, con underlined content and then of course we'll finish this out with italics so it all looks nice. Now that's okay but I really don't want all that on one line. I want to put it on multiple lines. So what I'm going to do is delete the little dash and hit enter. And now you can see we have two lines for our website design, but it still doesn't look all that good because it's all to the left. Let's highlight all of our text. From the underlying key, I would like you to go one, two, three spots over. That aligns everything to the left, is which where we are at now. The next one will align to the center. Cool, huh? The next one will align to the right. So we could put a picture over here, or do something else over there, or if we want to just keep it in the middle. You know, we could put stuff on either side of this. Uh, we can really play around and have a good time with it. So. That's how you align your text inside your window. And of course, all that. Now let's talk about changing the color of the background. Up here, under the publish key again, is a little white box. You'll notice the white background, white box. With all of your text highlighted inside your window, you want to click that box. You want to select a color and hit OK. So now before we go too much farther into actually building this quick website, what we want to do is save a file. So if you will please go up to File above the New key, Save As, and it's going to throw this pop-up window up. We're going to put Web Site Design hit OK and we select which folder we want it in. Guys, I got a lot of folders, okay? 
uh, I've got a lot of pages out there so it's real important to stay organized but we're gonna go ahead and put this in the UMG info since this is in the video series and click Save at this point you can click out of what you're working on and you're back to the new page in order to get to what you were working on click open the name website design and there it is on the page now we want to put an anchor in here to do this we highlight whatever we wish to have as an anchor simply click the anchor button and you will see the same wording website design as in what I've highlighted the anchor changes these three words into key search words that search engines and spiders and robots should start picking up on it's very important to include anchors in your website all you have to do from this point is click OK and you'll see that little anchor show up don't worry about the anchor it won't show up on the main web pages on the internet this is just for your own reference so you know that you've anchored those three words now let's say we want to take this color out we're not happy with it uh, we want to just start over again uh, as far as a white background all we do is highlight everything in the web or in the uh, text go back to your background color and let's change that back to white so we have a nice schmoosh deal and click once and there you go so now what we want to talk about is inserting an image basically anywhere your cursor is on this page is where your image is going to be inserted there's a couple of things about an image you need to be aware of your image size if your image is bigger than if you look at this number right up here 796 pics if it's wider than that it will not fit on this page it's not a problem I'll show you how to correct the image size but first I just wanted to point out wherever your cursor is is where your image is going to go so if you'll go straight up to the image and click that once you'll see image property location that wants to know where your file is now this is very important folks you can create a page from pictures on your computer but once you host that page on the internet unless your pictures are on the internet as well it won't work my personal workaround for this and where I don't have to pay for additional hosting of pictures and that kind of thing is we use MySpace MySpace lets you upload pictures you take the address of that picture on MySpace and you can put it in your image location here and what that will do is refer to that image when it's live on the internet so the picture will actually be there I'm full of shortcuts folks I, that's just one of them in order to do that click the dimension custom size and you'll see the 308 and 2000 in pixels a good size that I like to use for websites you 226 pixels by 150 pixels go back to your location and let me bring your attention to this alternate text if your image doesn't load up it's the text that this that is displayed where the image was supposed to be and also it's a mouse over so if you see an image and you mouse over and it brings up some text that's what your alternate text is so we'll just put uh, Terry and Miss Texas I guess for the alternate text again we've already changed our dimensions and click OK and there's our picture cool huh and of course let's not forget to hit the save button well I think that's about enough to cover during uh, <laughs> during part one in the next part we'll cover hyperlinks and tables I think you guys will have a good time with that so we've also talked about putting in a picture with the correct dimensions uh, again I recommend 226 by 150 is an excellent dimension for web pages uh, you play around with what is good for you and that's basically it that is the fundamental way we put together a website 
Guys, this is Wayne at the Universal Marketer's Guide saying, have blessings.